Good morning, fans of Private TRS FX. Coming at you on a Tuesday here, 20 October. Um, we got stimulus news, uh, or lack thereof. And then we got news out of the UK, or lack thereof. Now we're going to have Scottish independence news out of the UK, uh, or lack thereof. It's news driven right now. Uh, in a lot of different ways. Here's Sterling, which looks um, really like nothing's happening, right? We did get up to 130.22, now we're 129.44, so it's 80 points lower from the highs yesterday. Um, I guess the interesting points are 128.60. That's like um, the Scottish independence trade, perhaps. I don't know. If you're a news junkie, this is the new this is the new set of news you have to watch in the UK. Euro, middle of nowhere. We're gonna have this big pennant that everyone's gonna draw. This will be the top side. And this will be the downside. We still think that um there's gonna be a clean out on the downside, but we're right in the middle and we need a stronger setup. You can't just go willy nilly and and um, and sell uh, whenever you're to your heart's content. Based on the stock close yesterday, you can probably be short uh, with a stop above 118. But we're square at the moment. Our our style would be more waiting for 117 to go and then help push it through 116.85 and then. And then eventually 116.10. But right now we're just sitting tight square here. This is the trade, the current trade of what's going on right now. Euro Aussie, we talked about it yesterday. Um, 165.90. The bingo number was actually 165.83. Traded 98, back down to 83. And then we were off uh, 167.30 now. This could easily go 500 points. This is how Euro Aussie typically works. Have a look what happened here in February. Um, it's a trendy little little fucker. It's like a Chanel handbag. All the trendy Wendy's love this stuff. Uh, next resistance is 67.75. Feel free to buy pullbacks in uh, Euro Aussie. The driver in the Euro Aussie trade was the Aussie side. Uh, RBA was slightly dovish yesterday. Not a whole lot going on here. I mean, they were slightly dovish with 30 point range. Uh, Aussie will eventually plow through 70 cents, I think, especially if we start really turning risk off screws. Um, that'll be interesting uh, when that happens. Dollars are not much going on here. You could draw another one of these. Um, there, sh there should be sort of pendants on everything now. Why is that? Because vol um, sucks. Uh, vol has been uh, sodomized. Turned out at San Quentin. So it's just very quiet now and sad. Um, After a long night with uh, someone, some guy who runs the head of the Crips or something. Um, 1672, I don't even know. Just leave it. Euro yen, 123 is of interest. 125.11 is of interest. We're at 124.30. So it's going to be no real setups of note. This one we do like higher. <clears throat> Once uh, oil turns which is stubbornly not really doing right now oils at 40 77 has come off uh, 70 cents from the highs but 2153 is an interesting little bingo number in dollar max Aussie N you know where that fucker is with the Aussie news shits lower this was a 60 minute line yesterday Worked pretty well. 
timing was a little bit uh, tricky. 7 p.m. European time, but you know this is just a stock stock trade here. Gold middle of nowhere. We did take a little uh, looksy doodle down at 96, but just consolidation here in gold. Not much to say. Uh, equities. This is just stimulus on, stimulus off. You know, Karate Kid, wax on, wax off. Um, down to 34.11 on the dailies. You can see pretty bearish day. Why would the Democrats do stimulus before this uh, election? There's, a, there's literally no reason. They have their foot on Trump's neck. Um, why would they? Why would they take it off? The hatred for this man is reign supreme. No way they're going to do stimulus. Uh, BTPs, is it turning? Is the ship turning? I don't know. Traded at your peril. Shit looks very big, but typically what we want in BTPs is a big red bar and a close at the lows. And then the next day you sort of get in on it. NQ, same as the S&P chart. You could argue this has further to go. Interesting little um, pivot now at 11.575. Uh, interesting pivot. What else is out there? Kiwi following Oz, Dollar Cad, the laggard. Not a ton, not a ton. As far as the calendar goes, we got really nothing in the morning. Um, we're just kind of sitting tight. Hold on. I don't even know where the calendar is. I bet there's one here, yeah. No. Hmm. My internet's acting up here a little bit. Nothing really on the calendar here. Um, this morning we have um, just the calendar. Oh, there she is. We have building permits this afternoon. We got housing starts. Nothing really. Nothing really of note. Current accounts gonna suck in Europe, uh, but nothing really market moving. Focus today is just to stay long um, Euro Aussie. Uh, and try and or try and buy this on a dip as far as new trades are concerned um, not a whole lot of action here dollar yen's not doing anything we'll be watching these two sides of this um, but with not like real vigor I guess this top side comes into play at 88 uh, we prefer the downside which comes in at 07 We'll have to see how this turns out. Uh, but effectively, we're just managing uh, Euro Aussie longs. So the rest of it, how's Dollar China? Broke those lows. Let's go to the dailies. That's been tricky, Dollar China. That's pretty bearish for the dollar in general. Uh, but no new tactical trades there. Oh yeah, finally, let's have a look at our pal ZB. All right, here's Bitcoin. Kind of bid, top of the range. Dollar cost average Bitcoin yesterday. Um, we like Bitcoin higher. And then ZB is not doing too, too much here. Kind of consolidating. Um, waiting for the next shoe to drop on this. I think the election day is going to be the day. If Biden wins, you want to sell, sell ZB. 
anyway, I've said enough, like I said, and like you can see, there's not a lot of great new tactical uh, trades here at the open. Um, playing around alongside your Aussie and then being patient, keeping an eye on this pennant in Euro. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.